lot of barbers think their shit doesn't stink. Well, I'm here to tell you it does, but you can fix that. And in this video, I'll be going with the six haircut mistakes that you must avoid. To start off with mistake number one, it's gonna be not recording yourself cutting hair for feedback. Now there's a barber that I work with inside of the EM program whose haircuts honestly were not coming out solid whatsoever. And of course we wanted to improve them. I've said this before, inside of the EM program, we focus on growing the business, not working on how to cut hair better. But this is the problem at hand and you know, we had to deal with it. Now this is kind of a pain in the ass because the barber really wasn't seeing any improvement based on any feedback he was getting. But to me, the problem was very obvious. The dude was just sloppy as hell with his guidelines. And sometimes, look, we can all be a little bit too prideful about what we do. So to get him to be a little bit more open-minded about this, I just told him to record himself cutting hair. One haircut. Not recording the actual haircut, but recording himself cutting hair. And just come back and tell me what he saw. Here's what he told me. It looked like a chaotic mess. Hands are flying everywhere. Clippers going crazy. But at least he understood what I was trying to tell him this whole time by him needing more hand discipline. And after that, his cuts were literally night and day. Now look, it's very easy for us to give feedback to others because we're watching them. But it's hard to take feedback when we're not able to observe our own self. I mean, think of like Tom Brady or really any high-performing athlete. They watch an ungodly amount of game film, hours upon hours, simply trying to improve one thing. And that's a great mental model to have. And I think this principle can be applied to almost anything in life. Just think like an athlete. Get proper feedback loops so you can improve. Here's mistake number two, trying to cut every single person on earth. Now, as most of you know, one of our clients is Jay Faded. And when he first started working with us, he was making about 6K per month. He was charging about 60 bucks, but overall he was having trouble trying to scale beyond that point. In his mind, he thought in order to grow, he needed to get better with his sheer work and styling because, well, he wanted to be able to cut any and every single client that sat in his chair. I just told him straight up that was the worst mistake he could ever make. And better yet, that's the reason why he's not even scaling the business at this point in time. So instead, we focused on a specialized clientele, a very specific problem. And in eight months, we took his business from charging 60 bucks a cut to 200 bucks a cut and topping out 29K per month in income. Here's a great point. If you're a barber for everyone, you're a barber for no one. Because you can be great at anything you want to in life but you can only choose one or two things to be great at. Mastery and specialized skills always get paid more. And I'm already knowing there's gonna be like this old head OG motherfucker in the comments somewhere talking about this shit's wrong or this shit's bullshit, but I don't see any of them charging 200 bucks or making 29K a month inside of their business. And look, when you focus on one thing, you become the best at doing that one thing better than everyone else. And that cannot be achieved by being a barber for everyone. And look, we've not only been able to do this with Joel's business, but a plethora of other barbers, not only in the United States, Canada, and Australia as well too. So I do not want to hear that this shit doesn't work. Of course, if you do want to work with us, you can apply through the link down below. Now, mistake number three is just doing good enough haircuts. Now, we had another client inside of the Elevated Mentorship program who was getting great traction on Instagram, yet wasn't getting new fucking clients. And he really didn't know what the hell was going on. So I grabbed a few of his tracking sheets, kind of looked over things, and the problem became very obvious to me. His haircuts were straight up fucking sloppy. And when I asked him, he straight up told me his mindset this whole time was like, yeah, I'm just doing good enough haircuts, but they're not perfected. So this is what we did for him. I told him, I don't care how long it takes you to cut one client. The client does not leave that chair until the haircut is perfected. A few weeks after that, we checked in. He had his best month ever, getting 34 new clients in a single month, all because he stopped doing just good enough haircuts. Because just doing those cuts good enough won't get you to scale the business. You can get booked out doing good enough haircuts, but having sloppy details or bad overall work will not get you to grow or make more month after month. Now, mistake number four is watching hair tutorials instead of thinking in basic principles. Now, when I was charging 60 bucks, my haircuts were straight dog shit. And I honestly knew I was pretty fucked in my business at that point in time. As a quick fix, I thought watching more and more hair tutorials was going to fix something or I was going to get slapped with some magical transformational skill set. But all my cuts were still coming out ass. And that's when I kind of realized haircut tutorials are kind of flawed. Because at a certain point, I did not need to watch somebody else cut hair. 
I had to work on my hand discipline and mind to clipper connection. Big weird words, I know. Because look, the, the problem wasn't me having to watch other people fade. It was me putting what I see into practice. And again, too, not be sloppy. And for me, basic principles boils down to two things. Hand discipline in creating guidelines, creating structure of the haircut to the head and the face, also while sectioning hair, and blade to mind connection with taking guidelines out or lining people up. And that's it. Because if you can put clean and even guidelines properly placed on someone's head shape and not just pull chunks of hair while using shears and take your guidelines out nice and evenly while the blade's flat on the head, your cut's gonna come out nice. Because it's when you're rushed, you're sloppy, and you're undisciplined with your hand movements is where all the issues and problems start with cutting hair. You gotta be more calm, not sporadic and not all over the fucking place. Now, mistake number five is trying to improve a weak skill set. Now, this can be similar to mistake number two, but here is where this is completely different. I've said this time and time again, time is your biggest weapon as a business owner, especially when you're trying to grow and scale. And anything that slows you down from growing and scaling the business should be put at a lesser importance of your focus. Now, most barbers will want to waste their time trying to improve what they're weakest at in order to somehow grow their business. But again, this takes unnecessary time and becomes completely irrelevant when we aren't really worried about becoming a barber for everyone. Instead, you need to be focusing on improving your strong points. Because look, if you're decent at beards and like pretty shitty at wave cuts and 90% of your clientele has beards, then it makes zero sense at all to try to improve your wave cuts because you would want to double down on your strengths to progress faster. Now look, I'm not saying you have a shitty skill set. Be competent. But when you're trying to make a decision on where to allocate your time on improving your weakest skill set or a decent skill set, focus on the decent one. Because you need momentum in the business. You need to make more money right now. And you should double down on what makes you money right now. Not the shit that you do not get paid for whatsoever. Mistake number six is not working on one thing every single haircut every single day. Now this somewhat ties into the last point here, because when you have that point of focus to double down on, every cut should be hyper focused on just improving that one thing. And what most barbers do is they get lazy, complacent, and they kind of just go on autopilot, all because they're just making decent money. And look, this is where your business begins to stagnate and stops growing overall, because you want to be focused on the long-term cash not the short-term bullshit. Because yes, doing a haircut on autopilot will get you paid today in the short term, but it will also keep you at that same rate for years. Focusing on one thing to improve on and working on that one thing every single cut will get you to scale later on. Because again, specialists get paid. And when you spend your time focusing and obsessing over one thing long enough, you'll know how to attack it better than anyone else and you'll begin to weaponize your skill set in the game of business as a barber.